what's up everyone so this is a start to the infamous midwife brew now i feel so alone because this guy he is not in the best of moods because he is sleepy and he's supposed to be my support system but he can't support me right now so i'm supposed to take the midwife brew today and that's what this video is going to be all about. I already started prepping as far as getting the tea done. I need to go in the room and get the castor oil. So if you don't know, it is castor oil, almond butter. I don't know how to say that word, but verbena tea, something like that. I just get the Tarzovan and apricot juice but I don't have apricot juice, so I just did peaches nectar, and I did a different drink last time, so uh, it's not really about the juice anyway, but the plan is to do only half the brew, and the other half chase a little bit of castor oil with uh, juice for the other, because I just can't do the whole thing. But I'm laying like this because I just got finished eating, because it said not to take on an empty stomach, so I just ate and now I'm about to do the brew. So let's do this thing. Part of me is not ready to do this because I'm kind of semi cramping. So I guess I can explain some of this stuff as I get the cash oil. All right, so this is the tea. Hopefully that's a better shot. Yep, this is the castor oil the peach nectar which looks like that on the other side and this is the almond butter so to explain I already have the tea rolled I know that it's supposed to be like 10 ounces something like that but as far as the precise measurement I'm gonna have to look it up again because I forgot but I am currently 37 weeks and five days pregnant i am four centimeters dilated and 50 percent of face but that was three days ago so i could be more so that's kind of giving some background to where i am at this point the first time i did this i was only a half a centimeter dilated this time i'm already four centimeters dilated i am let me set this down while I try to get this together. So I am kind of nervous because I really don't want to go through the cramping through the middle of the night. I really don't want to and I'm already kind of exhausted. But this is probably the best time to start this situation. So I'm just going to have to do it. Like I said, alone I guess. I just got off the live so I do have previously done by the time you see this video two videos about the plan how many ounces is it six point so okay so yeah i am kind of nervous because i don't want to have the contractions but this is the best timing because david is only having five days off and he is off weekend, so because he only get five days off, it's kind of like, I kind of want to go on a weekend, and I have a feeling I'm gonna end up going to live close anyway. I just kind of want to give baby girl a push. So, that's what I'm doing. Try to give a push, it's not guaranteed. I do plan on getting the epidural. Okay, so that's my 10 ounces of the peach nectar. And, Let's get eight ounces of tea. I have it in the pot still. Yes, my belly's out. So 10 and I need eight ounces of this. already looks nasty and then we are gonna do two tablespoons of almond butter it's probably a little bit over a teaspoon a 
Am I supposed to put ice in this? Or do you pour it over ice? I don't remember. Two tablespoons, so I'm gonna do like that. I think that's enough. Two tablespoons of castor oil. Oh my God, this stuff's so thick. Okay, sorry, I had to clean this. All right, so this is how many ounces? I'm not drinking this whole thing. So this is 18 ounces. Ciao, I'm not drinking 18. So I need to drink half of that, which is nine. So yeah, got my glass of drink or ice. Oh, I remember that smell. It's nostalgic. Not in a good way though. So. Uh, okay. Let's hope I can see. Need to get down to 10. Ooh. Mm -mm. Spilling it. All right. Oh, that smell. That smell is terrible. I'm not ready. I don't want to drink it. Okay, we're supposed to drink this in 30 minutes. Mm, it's so crazy to think that this could make baby girls. Huh? I wish I had a straw like last time. Can I eat ice at the same time? I want to ice so bad. It's worse than I remember. Mm. Remember, don't do this on empty stomach. Oh, that's disgusting. I need ice in between or something. All right, y'all, so I'm officially done. I drank half of the brew, that's just water and ice, and then I drank all of the little chaser one to make up for a whole thing of the midwife brew, and that is disgusting, okay? Disgusting. It is actually worse than I remember it or whatnot and I told myself I was gonna stop eating ice but I need ice just to be able to settle have my stomach settle with the brew because I just can't the smell the taste it's worse than I remember or whatnot so I'm just about to eat a couple more ice chips to be able to settle um, David is sleepy up. I don't know. You sleep? You don't care. You don't care. You better get your sleep while you can. He might have had no sleep. You already look stressed. <laughs> stressed out. And David doesn't think, uh, he said it on live, but he doesn't think it's gonna work. You don't see me. And he been through this once already. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he thinks the baby is gonna come on a Sunday. 
like Nala did. And the first time I did it on a Thursday, today's Thursday. And I went into labor on early Saturday morning. But it didn't seem like it then either. But you got 24 hours for it to work, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to settle down. Ugh. Settle down, eat a couple ice chips, take off this makeup. I'm so winded, so tired, so over the day. I'm stressed out because if I don't go into labor soon, then I actually gotta take care of Nala all tomorrow with this pressure. It's just gonna be a lot. I can already foresee. If I am gonna go into labor tomorrow, or there's signs of labor or going or are having contractions, it's gonna be extremely difficult to get through the day. And I don't really know how we are gonna do this because if I do go into labor and he's at work, it's gonna take him like an hour to get home to even take me to the hospital. But I wonder if I'm gonna have to talk to my aunt because maybe I can see if she'll take me to the hospital. We'll see, so. Yeah, but if anything happens, I'll let you know. If nothing happens, I'll let you know. So, I uh, just drank the brew. I'm just trying to settle down because my stomach, child. And I'll see you in the next clip.